forgive the 80s head gear uh, it's like almost 40 degrees in this room it is we do have a temperature cage here and it says it's bloody hot actually I think it says that's 42 degrees 42 degrees in this shed and it's hotter than outside and it's a very hot day it's a Sunday shows you how long ahead of the, I record some of these things um, ah yes I have done a, um, a repaint of this and I'm still having issues with it so it could just be this paint is crap because I put it on a I put it on a cloth after it's all dry and it's looking really nice and it's pitted from being on the cloth so and this has been dry for like 24 hours and all sorts so yeah it looks like this paint's just utterly shite and uh, it's uh, it's hot as balls out there and this thing is this thing is actually very warm so the paint itself is is fine it's it's cooked it's very and truly cooked but um But that's not the purpose of today's, because you see, I've decided to go for a grey one. In fact, uh, I, this is my previous botched attempt, and I rubbed it down, put on a uh, bit of grey paint, and I was worried it wasn't, uh, again, it's a cheap paint, so it, it's, even though it's a primer, it didn't have a gloss. So I actually added some uh, gloss clear cut that I had. And then the can exploded. So, uh, not using that one. However, I have uh, started uh, work on the handles. So basically, a little bit of doweling between the two. That's the handle. So, all I need to do is uh, prop these through, like such. Stick these on like that. Yeah, you see, I've literally made them poke out a bit through. So all I need to do now is tear them up, mark where it is, cut them off, or sand them off on the belt sander, and they'll be roughly smooth. And I've got a whole bunch of uh, leather in the uh, bag down there. So I'm gonna, probably going to use this leather. I think that with that. Is going to nicely offset it. I do have some darker browns for the uh, classical blade, but I also have. I take one of my white mechlets and I spray it grey. That's had about an hour to dry. In this weather, it dries very quickly, so I'm going to test out the graphic rub on that. Um, and I might start pairing up the leaves and start cutting them out. Uh, I might need to go get some uh, spray adhesive. I can't seem to find. Yeah, you know, this kind of stuff you can use spray adhesive or you can use uh, contact adhesive. Really, a lot of the you can't really use super glues and stuff like that; will just peel right off. So you really have to be careful with your glues when you're trying to glue wood to uh, leatherettes and all that. Yeah, contact adhesive is great; it absorbs into the wood very well. So I have to see. And but first. Let's see how the graphite rubs on it. Now, I've chosen the grey. Because even though I've not seen anyone use grey, I've, said, I've chosen the grey because I thought, if, the, if I'm having trouble with the white, and it's not showing up, or at least it's I'm getting that blurred effect, and the problem with the black is that it is really dark. I mean, that is quite darker than I'd really want. I like it as a style, but for what I want, it's not right. But... So if I'm having issues, if I'm having these issues, then why not go in between? Um, it might hide the crimes. It might not. That's why we test these things. So if I'm getting a better result with this, I might turn my other, my last white one into a grey one. But I'm also going to be ordering in some uh, lacquers, hopefully this week. Uh, so I might start doing a new test batch. Uh, I shouldn't need to really do anything. I could, I can rub these down a bit more. I probably actually will just, you know, go over them with a, go back down over them with a hundred, uh, sorry, a six hundred uh, grit wet and dry, and then I, I do have a, a piece of one twenty somewhere. I've just got to find it.
<laughs> um, already, uh, right off the bat, um, I'm really happy with the grey. Uh, if I bring up the, this is the black one, remember? Very dark. This is the grey one. I actually, this is what you kind of think of when you think, uh, when you think of a metal. I'm just looking then up front, because I didn't bother really using too much extra graphite on one of the sides and you know I think at certain angles you can kind of just, I think it just picked it up more on camera just then but yeah that actually came out really well now, now the problem is that um, again I was just in a rush to try and uh, get this repainted just for this so I could say hey look how this has turned out this is again all test pieces and I'm really loving that effect uh, I'm probably going to um, paint the uh, the other white one grey and do it, but the problem is of course, you know, rushing it a bit uh, I don't know if you'll pick, pick that up, but um, there you go uh, it's, it's got some pitting, I, I, just, I just need to really just rub it back and repaint it, but again, it's all learning experience with, test, with testing these things out and if I put it side by side, yeah, I, I mean that one's a bit shinier, but that's also because it's a higher gloss coat but that's the kind of, you know, that's the kind of look I want when I'm thinking, uh, you know, Klingon weapon metal. I like the, I kind of like the slightly darker tone. It seems to definitely be hiding those crimes, uh, much like this one does. Now, I was a bit worried when I remade this one that, you know, I'm just thinking, is it just, is it actually picking up any of that metallic hints? As it just, you know, it's just, it's just mentally uh, going, no, no, it's, it act, if I ever redo this one again, I might I might redo this one with the black lacquer. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm not 100% happy with these paints at all. But yeah, um, I like that. I do like that finish as a special one. I really want some better paint on that. At least something that's going to cure and not get disrupted by anything. So. I'm 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 genuinely stoked about that. Issues aside with that kind of stuff, um, what I might actually do is I'm going to probably rub this down, back down again, uh, rub it up with a bit of wet and you know some high grade wet and dry, paint it with the grey, the grey primer, and then I'm going to go get um, I think it's Estopol. Hang on, let me just grab a can. Yeah, Estopol polyurethane. This is a matte finish, which I don't want. That will be very dull, and it just look like you know, it'll just look dull. It's, which is great if that's the one thing you want to get, but it's not really what we want for this. But that is that's progress. That is very good progress, and it, 
And if we do a quick calculation, not anything else aside, the uh, the graphite here, I think it cost me less than eight bucks. This is just graphite from Bunnings. It's in the tool shop. It's because uh, it's actually a lubricant. All dirty thoughts aside, and the tin of Fiddly Pits Grey Primer, four bucks. So for twelve bucks, and this is gonna this is gonna last. I mean, depending on how many multiple coats you want to put on there. But so to achieve that look, that's twelve twelve dollars divided by how many of these can you can want to punt out. I mean. That graphite's gonna last for a while. I can even probably go and buy a big jar of that from like Alibaba or like, like China or eBay or some of that for maybe like 20 bucks, and that's probably gonna last me for freaking ever. I'm, I'm really liking that. Uh, I'll see if I can. So, yeah, it's. So that's just the natural shine of the grey primer there. So, yeah, if I add a bit of gloss to that, rub this down, repaint it, add a bit of gloss. I reckon that's going to pop really well. I also had to uh, re-drill out the holes because even though I thought I laser cut them to uh, eight mil for the doweling, or might have just been I might have been using a small dowel bit, but I can't find any, so I've just re-drilled these. So that's the other problem is like, so I had to re-drill these. Um, there's some drill issues here, so I can fix that if I have to sand it down. I can fix that. Uh, while I was in the edit, I also went and uh, marked all these out. As you can see, I just basically plonked it on, plonked it on on the uh, on the dodgy ones, put it through, marked the hole out. So now it's just a matter of sanding or cutting them down. So when I put them together, they'll be roughly flush. I'm not that bothered. I'd rather them sink in a little bit rather than protrude a little bit because these aren't going to get glued to get these aren't going to get glued together until they're on the bat with themselves. So these need to have the leatherette put on them and the good thing is of course when you put them on you can hide the leatherette underneath so when you vice grip them together or however you want to put them together, I'm going to use a couple of vice grips just to really keep all that glue together. Uh, once all that hot, the, the glue hardens up, that's not going to come off. It's going to be, the handles are going to be on forever. But of course, there's the other leather wrapping technique. We'll probably get into that at some point when I'm actually at a stage where I can... Uh, but so I have this one... Whoop, so I have one more white. So I have one more white uh, Mac left left. So I'm gonna see if I want to keep that like that for now. I might try and order in because I want to order in some white, some clear coats and lacquer. I want to try the lacquers. I've got a. Well, that's the other thing. I've also got a bottle of Alcad uh, uh, Chrome somewhere. Hang on. High speed silver. Yeah, it's it's been like that for us. I've got to, I've got to, I'll have to mix this up for a bit because it's still container at the bottom. But I don't know if you can see even just the stuff that's come off on the side. It's got a really nice shine. But yeah, it's twenty two bucks for a bottle like this. It's not cheap. The um the blacks and the whites tend to be a little bit cheaper. They come in like a uh this is one ounce. I think for four to eight ounces you can get um black and white and I think a clear coat for roughly I think it's eighteen seventeen or eighteen bucks, but I've got to order them from a race. I can try my local hobby place again. Uh they only had this in for a limited time. I just managed to grab uh, this particular one, just starting to get that out. Yeah, this is going to be a nice gift. Anyone wants to uh, make me look like a pervert? But yeah, so yeah, I'm using that little 
there. So it's a, not a bad one, but you really do need a good um, black base for this. Another reason why I want to get some of the black lacquer as well, then there's um, not going to be any potential issues with polish. I did use. Um, I did use uh, some watered down to my uh, black enamel when I did my Captain Scarlet pistol. And it worked alright, but there was also, that was also a very small scale. And that's the other problem is uh, sometimes airbrushing is fantastic at so, uh, smaller scales. This might be pushing it. Uh, I know Build Around was having a bit of uh, issues um, painting his uh, Wonder Woman sword with an airbrush. He was using the Molot Molotov? Mol I don't want to say Molotov because that sounds like a cocktail. Uh, but I think it's the Moltav um, High Gloss Chrome, the same chrome that uh, Adam Savage used. It's like 50 bucks over here, that's why. So I, I love the tiny time I've used it, loved it, but it's not cheap. And part of being a broke ass cosplayer is, you know, trying to find ways to do things that look good on the cheap. Looking, try airbrushing that. Um, I might do a test with that, those two methods with the airbrush. Um, if I do, I'll. I'll set up the camera again and paint that up. Uh, as for now, um, I'm going to see where I go forward with this. Especially because if I have to... If I try and repaint this with the... Uh, because I've used a glass lacquerish, I've thrown the can away, but if, because I've used something really kind of crap on this... Uh, if I try and paint this, I might have to strip all this back down. I might have to sand it back down, or I might uh, go back over with some spray putty, and hopefully that won't uh, cause any chemical reactions. The spray putty is pretty good. That's kind of a bit of a tip. If you do have a, have a, a mistake, uh, sometimes the spray putty can cover it. You just got to go back to the beginning. Just sand as much down, spray it with a uh, spray putty, sand, prime, etc 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 uh there's plenty of youtube stuff about uh how to do all that but um yeah i i kind of wish it was a little bit lighter but i'm happy with that i'm happy with, i can i can i can definitely see that uh being uh, come out really, really well with a with a higher gloss. It's, I think that's the other thing. If that higher gloss uh, reflectivity, I reckon that will pop like crazy. So yeah, um, I'll so hopefully see you again soon. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be quite so hot out to wear a freaking headband. I have to have the fan on, and literally, there's no airflow. And I have to direct it away because it just blasts that graphite off. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around.